When I was a mere child, my father had a small factory in Sunul. During my school holidays, I supposed to work with him at the factory. While working in the factory, I met some workers who lost their fingers from accident. Probably, from that time, my interest had grown immensely on the hand and much more precisely on the fingers. That time I always had a feeling that any time my fingers could get hurt by the machine and I might lost my finger. Though that feeling persisted only for a brief, it made a huge impact in my young mind. That weird feeling persisted subconsciously in my mind until now which might be the driving force for writing this book. This book is about a special method to preserve and give back an your normal finger to the injured patient. Replantation of amputated digit. To be the master of digital replantation, one needs a clearer understanding of the anatomy of the digits, the structure of the anastomosed vessels and nerves. In my point of view, the most important point for the successful replantation is the surgeon's commitment and perseverance. When replantation fails, despite of meticulous follow of all the steps, the patient and surgeon both feel the same sorrows. Surgeon's perseverance is the only inspiration that can make him to go for the next replantation. Current researches on the basic patha anatomy of finger amputation improves the result of replantation tremendously. Still, the outcome of replantation is unpredictable as many minor issues affecting the result. The outcome may vary even on the patient's general psychological condition. I wanted to share my experiences with the beginner, at the same time wanted to discuss the tips and ticks with the experts through this book. I am grateful to my mentors Professor Duke Huan Chung, Professor Chung Su Han, Professor Jiho Chung, Professor Jay Hoon Lee, and Professor Sang Sikim for teaching me the microsurgery. And thanks to my dear friend Dr. Ahmed Suparnoba Harmony for his continuous encouragement and support for the English edition. Special thanks to the CEO of the publisher Brother Jin Chang, Brother Sang Hyun Cho, Brother Chang Bai Kim, Brother Song Yeon Hong, Brother Jin Sam Park, Dr. Jong Ik Wang, Dr. Hyun Jio Sa, Dr. Ji Sup Kim, Brother Kwan Ship Kim, Sister Hyun Sim Kim, Sister Jin Sik Lee, Sister Kyo Jin Kim. I know I cannot replant all the amputated fingers, but still, I always want to give my best try in every amputated digits for replantation and eagerly waiting for the invention of the magic glue which could make all the amputated fingers replanted successfully without any tension. In near future, I always wanted to be a doctor who is master in finger replantation rather to be good in any particular language, like English. Cheers! Author Hyun Shil Park. Thank you very much. Finger Replantation Chapter 1 Introduction to Microsurgery A Instruments Surgical instruments that are required for the finger replantation are the same as the instruments commonly used in a microsurgery operation theater. 2. Table and Chair For fingertip replantation, 20 times magnification is preferable. Commonly available forceps can be divided into adventity of forceps, smooth tipped forces, tying forceps. They are also available in different length, short form and long form. Needle holders are available in locking and non-locking varieties. The author prefers a non-locking curved type needle holder. Scissors could be of curved or straight, blunt or sharp tipped. Curved type is more convenient to dissect the neurovascular structure, and straight type is for trimming of the vessel. In general, vessel anastomosis is performed with the help of the clamp. Ecduda clamps are widely used for vessel anastomosis. 802-110 nylon suture materials are used during finger replantation. The author prefers 8090 nylon for neurography. 10-0-11-0 nylon for vessel and estomosis. Lead hand is used to fix and stabilize both the amputated part and proximal stump of the hand which accelerates rapid anastomosis and shorten the operation time. Thank you very much. Following amputation of the finger, initial preparation, storage and transportation of the amputated part to the appropriate center is very important for successful 
replantation in 2013 when I was an invited speaker to the Bangladesh Orthopedic Society Conference, my talk was on finger replantation. On that occasion, my advice to the young hand surgeons was regarding the community education of transportation of the amputated finger. In summer, the weather becomes very muggy and in winter it is freezing cold. So we need to follow a standard bought simple transportation protocol applicable for all seasons. If the amputated part is soaked in water, milk or alcohol during transportation, there will be gross edema of the soft tissue and it would be difficult to dissect out the blood vessels for anastomosis. The author prefers the following steps to follow during transportation of the amputated finger. Cleaning of the dirt from the amputated part with a moist clean cloth and wrap it with another one. Putting the part into a sealed plastic bag. Finally putting the plastic bag containing the amputated part into a clean, sealed container, filled with ice. At the same time, the cut end of the proximal stump should be wrapped with a clean cloth to prevent bleeding from the end. It is not advisable to spray any hemostatic agent at the cut end. Multiple fingers amputation it is preferable to keep each of the amputating part in separate container and keep record of the patient's information along with the name of the finger on T. Preoperative findings. Postoperative findings. X-ray findings. Thank you very much. Finger replantation chapter to preparation be thermal injury. Caution. In case of amputation following thermal injury, amputated part is usually exposed to a very dry condition due to exposure to heat. All the soft tissue structures could be dried up by the heat. In such case, while checking the blood vessels in the operation theater, the author prefers to either dip the amputated part in normal saline to get them swollen or continue dribbling of saline on the amputated part throughout the dissection. The time to dip in normal saline is Decided by frequently checking and confirming the softening of the soft tissue. Dipping into normal saline is only advisable if soft tissue of the amputated finger is in very dry state following thermal injury immediately before the dissection of the vessel under the microscope. Eln a 56 years old male in whom amputated part was exposed to very high temperature and kept in dry environment for a long time. Replantation was performed after creation of artificial edema by dipping the part in normal saline. Left side before debridement. Right side after debridement. Checking artery. Arterior AFI was performed. Immediate postoperative. Postoperative 7 days. Postoperative 2 weeks later. Postoperative 4 months later. X-ray findings. Thank you very much. Finger replantation chapter 3 preoperative considerations a surgical team. Caution. Physical fitness and good mental health is a prerequisite for the medical staffs who want to perform replantation as it takes long period of constant focus and concentration. Eye pain, backache, neck pain, even benign prostatic hyperplasia are well-known problems related to the replantation surgery as it needs to be performed in sitting position for a prolonged period of Tim. E. Therefore, to reduce the work-related fatigues it is important to use the table and chair of appropriate height, microscope with right interpapillary distance and perfect working distance. If the body posture is inconvenient, surgery becomes difficult. It also affects the mind. Surgeon might become oxidated easily due to overstimulation of the sympathetic nervous system. Excessive amount of coffee, smoking can excite the sympathetic nervous system that might produce unwanted hand tremor. Although, doctors who regularly perform microsurgery are not usually aware whether they are subjected to surgical stress-related illness or not. 
The author have noticed microsurgeons suffer from diabetes mellitus and cardiovascular disease more than the other doctors. Regular exercise, proper diet and weight management can make the surgeon fit and to cope up with this excess stress. But vigorous exercise of the upper part of the body might cause hand tremor during surgery, so it is better to focus mainly on lower limb exercises. The author advises the micro sigrions to make a habit of regular brisk walking in open space. It can help to improve the cardiorespiratory function as well as help to reduce the eye fatigue by alternating. Look at near objects and objects far away. It can also help for training of mind. As while brisk walking one can organize his or her thinking efficiently. Finger Replantation Chapter 3 Preoperative Considerations B. Severe Crush Injury The more severe the crush, the worse the outcome of replantation. Occasionally, the amputated part is too distorted following a crush injury that it is very difficult or near impossible to perform. A 55 years old male with severe crush injury where it was impossible to perform the replantation Open amputation was done at first setting. Subsequently soft tissue reconstruction was performed with a free anterolateral thigh flap. Finally, a second toe transfer was done for functional recovery. Post-operative three months later after second toe transfer, 854 years old male patient who presented with the necrosis of the thumb, open amputation and subsequently the second toe transfer was done for functional recovery. In a 43 years old male, although the finger was survived following replantation, result was unsatisfactory aesthetically due to severe crush. Checking artery. Arterior AFI was done. Neuro AFI was done. Post-operative three weeks. Although the finger was survived following replantation, result was unsatisfactory aesthetically due to severe crush. Thank you very much. Finger Replantation Book. Chapter 3. C. Distal Fingertip Amputation. Caution. The most important factor for the successful replantation here is the mechanism of the injury and status of the amputating part. Amputation following a sharp cut injury is less likely to cause crush, is relatively easy to replant and has a good prognosis. In case of amputation with severe crush, there is very high chance of necrosis of the replanted part. Even if the finger survives, often there is necrosis of some part of the skin that necessitates additional surgery. In cases of crush injury, sometimes it might be difficult to confirm the presence of a good vessel in the amputated part in the emergency room. In this situation in many cases, good vessels were found when rechecked the part in operation, theater under microscope and replantation was successful. A 48 years old lady with fingertip amputation Arterior AFI was performed after exploration under microscope. Preoperative finding. Checking artery. So author's advice is not to give up hope before checking it under the microscope in the operating room. Postoperative five days later. Postoperative two weeks later. Postoperative two months later. Thank you very much. Hello ladies and gentlemen. I am Hyun Chul Park. This movie is focused on the indication of finger replantation. Caution. Indications for replantation are as follows. Thumb. Multiple digits. Partial hand. Any part in a child. Restore forearm level. Elbow and above elbow. 
individual digit distal to the flexor digitorum superficialis tendon. In a 54 years old male, replantation was performed at the level of distal to the FDS tendon. Artery was observed under microscope. I usually tag the artery to find easily again. Flexor tendon and digital artery was observed during arterior AFI. Flexor tendon tenor AFI. Arterior AFI was performed. Extensor tenor AFI. Venar AFI was performed. Immediate postoperative findings. Postoperative for months later. Amputation distal to FDS tendon. Immediate postoperative. Postoperative two months later. X ray findings. Thank you very much. Finger Replantation Book. Chapter 3. Preoperative Considerations. D. Contraindication. Caution. The author always gives a try to replant all finger amputation cases as there is no absolute contraindication for it. Severely crushed or mangled parts. Amputations at multiple levels. Amputations in patients with other serious injuries diseases. Amputations in patients with other severely arteriosclerotic vessels. Amputations with prolonged warm ischemia. Amputations in mentally unstable patients. Individual finger amputations in an adult at a level proximal to the FDS insertion. Particularly index or small finger. But we need to keep in my mind that presence of some medical and psychiatric problems affects the prognosis of replantation. In a 36 years old male with severe crush injury, replantation was not possible. So open amputation was done followed by soft tissue coverage with free anterolateral thigh perforator. Flap. Post-operative findings. Open amputation was done. For soft tissue coverage, anterolateral thigh flap was performed post-operative three weeks. And patient's desire is another important factor that need to keep in consideration. 2. The patient might refuse the replantation or post-operative protocols, though not common in the author's practice. So appropriate preoperative evaluation of the patient's medical and psychiatric condition should be carried out before replantation www.replantation.shop thank you very much hello ladies and gentlemen i am hyun shul park today i will present finger replantation chapter 3 subchapter f preoperative checkup there is no difference from general preoperative evaluation what is routinely done before any emergency surgery but as it is necessary to follow with fluid therapy postoperatively, some additional evaluations are needed. 1. Diabetes mellitus. Recently, even young patients were diagnosed as diabetic during preoperative evaluation. DM causes pathophysiological change in the blood vessels, which can affect the outcome of replantation. In diabetic patients, glycemic control should also be checked by the glycated hemoglobin examination. The higher the glycated hemoglobin level, the more susceptibility to the infection and the poor result following surgery. 2. Blood loss. When there is severe preoperative blood loss, blood transfusion might be necessary. Since it is difficult to evaluate the amount of blood loss following injury, and examination of hemoglobin level also can't determine the recent blood loss, it is important to closely monitor the patient's general condition. Blood loss may be severe enough to necessitate blood transfusion. 3. Smoking. People who are the victim of finger amputation are usually the active, industrial, or manual worker. Smoking is known to reduce oxygen concentration in the blood and also finger blood flow. There are reports that blood flow has not been improved even after 10 minutes of the last smoking. So smoking after the replantation may affect the outcome. 
patient education regarding smoking is necessary. 2. Caffeine. Caffeine in coffee is the most widely taken drug ingredient. Its pharmacological action on blood vessels is vasoconstriction. It might reduce fingertip blood circulation if it is allowed to the patients following fingertip replantation. However, especially in fingertip replantation, as the blood flow is maintained by very tiny blood vessels, uptake of caffeine might affect the outcome of the replantation. Patients need to be educated on this matter too. Thank you very much. Hello ladies and gentlemen. I am Hyun Chul Park. Today, I would like to present Finger Replantation Book Chapter 4 Anesthesia Subchapter Regional Anesthesia vs General Anesthesia. Finger replantation can be done under regional anesthesia. In certain instances, such as if patient is too young, non-cooperative or if regional anesthesia is failed, general anesthesia needs to be given for replantation. Anesthesia time can be prolonged using epinephrine with anesthetic drugs, bupivacaine, and lidocaine. It also helps to minimize the post-operative pain. The author prefers to use the ultrasound and in some instances nerve stimulator to confirm the nerves during the procedure. Disadvantages of regional anesthesia compared to general anesthesia are as follows. 1. Time constraints. 2. Lack of familiarity to the anesthesiologist. 3. Fear of failure. 4. Concern about complications. 5. Patients desire to be completely unaware during the procedure. Each of these problems can be overcome with appropriate planning. Thank you very much. Hello, I am Hyun Chul Park. Today, I will present brachial plexus block during finger replantation surgery. There is two brachial plexus block method. One is supraclavicular block and the other is axillary block. Both of them is also possible. Supraclavicular block is given in supine position, turning patient's head to the opposite side of the anesthetist. Ultrasound can confirm the brachial plexus aided by keeping a pillow beneath the shoulder to stretch and elevate the plexus. In patients with frozen shoulder or shoulder stiffness, it might not be possible to achieve this position. At axilla, as the nerves lie around the axillary vessels, extra cautions should be taken. While injecting anesthetic drugs under ultrasound guidance, position of the blood vessels can be confirmed by Observing the control collapse, specific nerve block, median nerve, ulnar nerve and radial nerve block is possible. The median nerve is located ulnar to the radial artery as a relatively hyperergoic structure compared to the surrounding muscle tissue in the forearm. It is observed as rounded shape or sometimes as collapsed triangular shape in ultrasound image. The ulnar nerve is located at the ulnar side of the ulnar artery as a hyperazoic triangular structure in the forearm. The radial nerve is observed at the supralateral side of the distal arm above the elbow joint as a hyperazoic triangular or oval structure in between the biceps and triceps muscle. Total for CC of 2% lidocaine is needed to be injected for the complete digital block divided into the corresponding sites of the volar and dorsal digital nerves. Epinephrine might cause spasm in the digital artery especially in patients with vascular problems. Thank you very much. Hello, I am Hyun Chul Park. Today, I will present Finger Replantation Book Chapter 5 Preocedures Subchapter A Sequence of Finger Replantation. The sequence of the operation varies according to surgeon's preference. The Extensor tendon can be sutured later. The general sequence of replantation is as follows. 1. Locate and tag the vessels and nerves. 2. Debridement. 
It is important to prevent infection. If infection was occurred, the success rate will be decreased. 3. Shorten and fix the bone. If vessel or nerve defect is exist, shortening procedure will be needed. 4. Repair the extensor tendons. 5. Repair the flexor tendons. 6. Anastomose the arteries. 7. Repair the nerves. 8. Anastomose the veins. 9. Obtain skin coverage. The sequence of the operation varies according to surgeon's preference. The extensor tendon can be sutured later. The volar structures can be repaired first. Then the dorsal, the extensor tenorophy, and lastly venar afi. Abbreviation is common. Bone. Extensor. Flexor. Artery. Nerve. Vein. Skin. In a 43 years old male with first finger crushing and second finger amputation, flexor tendon tenor afi was done. Arterior afi was performed. After hand position change, extensor tenor afi was performed. In this patient, soft tissue defect was existed, so skin graft was performed to soft tissue coverage. In post-operative for months later, finger status as well. Thank you very much. Hello ladies and gentlemen. I am Hyun Chul Park. Today, I will present finger replantation chapter 6 subchapter A irrigation and debridement. Amputated part might be contaminated with foreign bodies. Irrigation and wound debridement are needed to remove these foreign bodies. However, excessive irrigation, soaking the part into normal saline to get rid of fine foreign bodies might cause oedema of the blood vessels and dissection could become difficult. In cases of gross contamination, the author prefers to irrigate the amputating part for removal of the large foreign bodies, followed by debridement under microscope to remove the fine foreign bodies. There is left fifth finger amputation, old based paint foreign body, foreign body removal and arty tagging. Arterior AFI was performed using clampless technique. Neurography was performed. Postoperative findings. Postoperative three weeks. Preoperative findings. Black colored foreign body was noted. It was not removed by irrigation. Wound debridement and foreign body removal was performed under microscope. Postoperative findings. Almost tissue was survived. Thank you very much. Hello, I am Hyun Chul Park. Today, I will present Finger Replantation Book Chapter 6 Soft Tissue Subchapter B Dissection. Caution for Watching Marking of the Artery, Vein, Digital Nerve, Flexor Tendon, Extensor Tendon in the amputated part and in the proximal stump helps saving time of the proper operative process. Marking or tagging in the amputated part can be done while the patient is in preoperative room for the regional block anesthesia, which can minimize the operation time. The author experienced that after fixation of the bone, in some cases it is difficult to explore the flexor tendon in the proximal stump, and in cases of fingertip amputation, find out the suitable artery in the amputated part is quite difficult. The author prefers to use tendo nylon or marking pen to mark the vessel, in fingertip amputation. Case 1. Complete amputation. Artery tagging. Arterior AFI was performed. Post-operative findings. Post-operative 4th months. Post-operative 6th months. Case 2. Artery tagging. Arterior AFI was performed. Post-operative findings. Post-operative 5 months. Case 3. Artery was difficult to distinguish from the surrounding soft tissue. Marking of the artery before starting of the replantation is a useful step to reduce the operation time. Artery and refi was performed. Post-operative findings. Post-operative for weeks findings. Thank you very much.
Hello, I am Hyun Chil Park. Today I will present Finger Replantation Book Chapter 7 Bone Subchapter of Fixation of Bone. The author prefers to fix the bone with K wires as it is simple, E requires less time. To fix, several techniques of bone fixation are practiced for the finger replantation. Plate fixation can be made deep wound infection due to open wound. K wire fixation is the simple method to fix. K wires also occupy less space, and if something goes wrong, it can be easily corrected. The disadvantages of this technique are fixation strength is weaker than the plate. Fixation and the bone union time is comparatively longer. Left thumb amputation with severe crush injury. Fixation using K wire. Flexor tendon tenor AFI was performed. Arterior AFI was performed. Neuro AFI was performed. Venar AFI was performed. Post operative two days later. Debridement was performed after post operative three weeks. Post operative four months later. Union was performed. Finger replantation book chapter 7 bona fixation. Hello, I am Hyun Chil Park. Today I will present Finger Replantation Book Chapter 7 Bond Subchapter B Shortening. Caution for washing. Bone shortening procedure is not inevitable during finger replantation. Bone shorting might be needed when there is gap between the ends of the artery during anastomosis. Bone shorting might be also needed when there is huge gap between tendons. But it can jeopardize the function of the finger as it might cause weakening of the finger strength. The author does not recommend bone shortening except if the bone ends are severely comminuted and grossly contaminated. Post-operative findings. Post-operative three days later. Post-operative five months later. Index finger amputation occurred with severe bone defect. Bone shortening was inevitable, which ended up with joint stiffness and decreased range of motion. Thank you very much for watching. Hello, I am Hyun Chil Park. Today I will present Finger Replantation Chapter 8 Tendon Subchapter Tenor AFI. Caution for watching. Proper tenor AFI is important to achieve maximum function of the hand. Following bone fixation, tenor AFI should be done before starting of the microsurgical anastomosis of the vessels and coectation of the nerves. If tendon rail ruptures during the treatment, it might affect the vessel and nerve repair. So, both flexor and extensor tendons should be repaired strongly to prevent ray rupture. The author prefers to repair the flexor first, followed by repair of the artery and nerve from palmar side and then from the dorsal side extensor tenor AFI. Sequences of soft tissue repair might vary according to the surgeon's preference. In a 40 years old female with long finger amputation, flexor tendon was identified and tagged preoperatively. Then replantation was proceeded following the routine sequences. Arterior AFI was performed. Venar AFI was performed. Post-operative findings. Debridement was performed. Post-operative 6 months. X-ray findings show bony union process at post-operative 6 months later. Thank you very much. Today I will present Finger Replantation Book Chapter 8 Tendon. Subchapter B Avulsion Injury. Caution for watching. In case of tendon avulsion, the author prefers to remove the avulse tendon at the time of replantation and consider tendon reconstruction either by tendon graft or tendon transfer at second stage, if required. In a 58 years old male with thumb amputation following an avulsion injury, the flexor pollicis longus tendon was avulsed from the musculodendinous junction. Post-operative findings, post-operative 7 days findings, post-operative 3 months findings, x-ray findings. Thank you very much.
Today I will present Finger Replantation Book Chapter 9 Artery Subchapter A. Anatomy Arterior afi is the most important step in replantation. If RTL afi goes wrong, even all other steps are correctly done, replantation will fail, and finger will not survive. The author prefers to find out the digital nerve first and then look for the artery at the dorsolateral side of it. The digital artery is located on the dorsolateral side compared to the digital nerve between the Clarend and Grayson ligament. The ulnar and radial digital arteries progress distally, join at the fingertip and form distal volar transverse digital arch. Multiple branches emerge from the arch, among which the central pulp branch is the largest. A proper understanding of the arterial anatomy of this site is necessary for fingertip replantation. The author have made new classification. Classification of distal fingertip amputation based on the arterial system for replantation. Thank you very much. Hello, I am Hyun Chil Park. Today I will present Finger Replantation Chapter 9 Artery Subchapter B Park's classification. The existing classification of the fingertip amputation is categorized on morphology of the amputation. It does not provide any information about the artery that need to be repaired, which is the most important step in replantation. The author prefers to use a new classification system for the fingertip injury. According to this classification, Zone 1 amputation refers as an amputation at the level of the proximal part of the central pulp artery. In most of the cases, morphologically it is observed as a transverse form of amputation. Central pulp artery is tagged under the distal phalanx in the amputated stump. Zone 2 is morphologically an oblique form of amputation where the branch of the central pulp artery is cut diagonally. A branch from the central pulp artery to the lateral side is cut post-operative two months later. Zone 3 is the case where amputation occurs at the level of the distal part of the central pulp artery distal to the lateral branch. The central pulp artery is very thin and slender at this level, so anastomosis is quite challenging. Composite grafting, VY advancement flap, crossed finger flap ETC can provide similar result in amputation at zone 3. Amputation is through the terminal part of the central pulp artery distal to its lateral branch post-operative two months later zone for amputation means only the lateral pulp artery is damaged keeping central pulp artery intact the difference between zone 2 and zone for amputation is the presence or absence of injury to the central pulp artery as stated before the central pulp artery progresses deeper in the direction to the distal phalanx distally Morphologically, zone for amputation is volar oblique type and here comparatively deeper central pulp artery remains undamaged. As lateral pulp artery is also comparatively thin and slender, arterial anastomosis is difficult to perform if replantation is attempted. No bony fracture is usually found in most of the cases of zone for amputation. Classification of distal fingertip amputation based on the arterial system for Replantation. Thank you very much. Hello, I am Hyun Chil Park. Today I will present Finger Replantation Chapter 9 Artery Subchapter C Dead Loving or Avulsion Amputation. Caution for watching, pattern of arterial damage in cases of amputation following a dead loving or avulsion injury is completely different from that of a sharp cut injury. As the damaging force is traction in nature, it might damage a long area of the blood vessel proximal to the site of the complete rupture. Microfrombi might form in the whole area of the damaged vessel wall which is not easily identifiable. The artery might rupture at different level than the amputation site due to presence of smooth muscle in the wall of the vessels. It is easy to find out the artery in the debloved part first, then check the artery to the corresponding part of the amputation. 
it is convenient to carry out dissection through a mid-lateral incision at the predicted site of the vessels on the radial and ulnar side of the digit. If circulation does not improve after the anastomosis, it necessitates dissection and exploration to the proximal site of the anastomosis. In many cases, multiple partial ruptures are found in the vessel wall proximal to the site of the complete rupture. In a 30 years old male with avulsion injury, artery was ruptured more proximally than the site of the amputation in ring finger. Along with the replantation of the ring finger, open amputation was performed at long fingertip. Microsurgical suture technique named clapless technique was performed. I have made this technique. Venar afi was performed. Midlateral incision was performed. Postoperative 5 days findings. Wound contamination was severe, especially distal phalanx. Partial necrosis was observed at the tip of the ring finger due to the severe crush. Thank you very much. Hello, I am Hyun Chil Park. Today, I will present Finger Replantation Book Chapter 9 Subchapter D Suture Technique. Caution for Washing Vascular clamps are routinely used to aid vessel repair in microsurgery. It has both advantages and even disadvantages. It helps for easy approximation of the vessel and facilitates tension-free anastomosis and helps to flip or rotate the repair site for posterior wall repair by holding both ends of the vessel. However, in cases of fingertip replantation as the vessels are short and thin, clamps are difficult to be mounted and it might rather cause damage to the vessel wall by exerting pressure. The author prefers to use the clamp plus suture technique in fingertip replantation. A 50 years old male was admitted with ring finger amputation following a workplace injury. Step 1, a simple knot is tied. In the figure, yellow color refers to the front wall of the vessel and orange color for the back wall. Step 2, without tightening the first knot, second knot is applied. Step 3, a loop is made turning the right strand to the left side. Step 4, holding the neck of the loop the other strand is pulled. Thread will glide, and the knot will be tightened. Step 5, repair site tension can be adjusted by balancing the pulling force on the red strand. Step 6, holding the right strand as a post, the stability of the repair site is checked. First, knot is tied. Step 7, a granny knot is completed first at one side of the vessel, and a square knot is added over that. The strand is left long to facilitate flipping of the vessel. In the same way, another knot is tied at the other end of the vessel. A guz is kept at the undersurface of the repair site and vessel is flipped using the suture strand to carry out the back wall repair first. The guz is removed, long strands are cut short and front wall is repaired. Follow up at two months after surgery. Replantation was successful. Thank you very much. Hello, I am Hyun Chil Park. Today I will present Finger Replantation Book Chapter 9 Artery Subchapter. Evain Graft. Caution for Washing. If there is gap between the arterial ends or if after an estomosis repair site seems tight and tense, vein graft should be applied to reconstruct the artery. Tight anastomosis causes tension at the vessel which affects the blood flow and damages the vessel wall. It might lead to thrombus formation and ultimately influence the result of the replantation. The author prefers to use the cutaneous veins from the restored distal forearm as vein graft as it is convenient to harvest under the brachial plexus block. Harvested veins should be marked at one end by suture material, or marking pen and should be written in board that which end is tabbed to distinguish the distal end from the proximal. Later, as vein graft must be placed in opposite direction to bridge the gap, 
Marking can reduce confusion and operation time during surgery. In a 30 years old male with avulsion injury, arterial defect was observed, vein was harvested from the wrist and grafting was done accordingly. Post-operative 7 days. Vein harvest site noted. Post-operative 4 months. Severe salvage scar noted. X-ray finding. Bony union was observed. In a 42 years old male with arterial defect of 1 cm, artery tagging was performed, vein graft was performed after harvesting the vein from the wrist. Post-operative findings, the finger was pale little bit, post-orative 4th month's findings, finger survival noted, in a 22 years old male with 1 cm arterial defect, vein graft was performed with a wrist vein. Post-operative 10 days later, post-operative 2 months later. Keloid scar noted at the vein harvested wrist. X-ray findings. Thank you very much. Hello. I am Hyun Chil Park. Today I will present steps to follow post-arterior AFI. Caution for washing. Young surgeons with less experience of replantation feel embarrassed. If blood flow does not establish immediately following arterial affi and perform immediate ray exploration. However, especially in crush injury often it takes time blood flow to re-establish. If there is no improvement of blood flow following a proper anastomosis, it is important not to be puzzled rather, wait for a few minutes and irrigate the repair site with warm saline. 1. Relief of vascular tension or compression if any. 2 proximal dissection to healthy vessel and 3. Warming of the operation room and the patient 4. Adequate hydration of the patient 5. Elevation of the patient's blood pressure 6. Irrigation of the proximal vessel with warm lactated ringers solution 7. External application or gentle intraluminal flushing with popovarine solution 8. Checking with the anesthesiologist about the metabolic problem that could incite vasospasm for example. Metabolic acidosis. 9. Being certain that the tourniquet is deflated. 10. Wait. I think waiting is most important. In 21 years old male. Right fourth finger amputation. Checking artery was performed. Vein graft was performed to bridge the arterial defect. Tourniquet release was performed. Neuroraphy was performed. Tourniquet was released completely. Patient's hydration status was checked and warming of the operation room and the patients were carried out. Post-operative 10 days. Post-operative 3 weeks. Post-operative 2 months. Thank you very much. Hello, I am Hyun Chil Park. Today I will present Finger Replantation Book Chapter 10 Nerve Subchapter Neuroraphy. Caution for watching. Co-optation of the digital nerve should be done using minimal number of stitches. If more stitches are used for neuroraphy, there is more chance of foreign body reaction. The suture technique is same as vessel suturing by clampless technique. Clamp might cause damage to the nerve by exerting pressure. In cases of amputation following avulsion injury, nerve also might be avulsed, or long area of nerve might be damaged. In such cases, additional skin incision in the proximal part might be required for neuroraphy. 830 years old male with thumb and long finger amputation following an avulsion injury. The thumb was replanted. At the time of surgery, nerve was found avulsed and neuroraphy was performed making an additional incision on the proximal part. At follow-up after 4 months, 2-point discrimination was 8 mm in the replanted thumb. Post-operative x-ray findings. 853 years old male with amputation of the left ring finger with exposed nerve following an avulsion injury. Neuroraphy was done making an additional incision on the proximal stump. Post-operative 3 months. Post-operative x-ray findings, a 50 years old male with index, long and small finger amputation, with intact digital nerve at the radial side of the small finger. Although there was an advantage of early sensory improvement, patient was complaining of pain at the time of scratching the wound made at amputated part for external bleeding therapy. 
to prevent venous congestion. Arteriography was performed. Post-operative findings, post-operative two months findings. Thank you very much. Hello, I am Hyun Chil Park. Today I will present Finger Replantation Book Chapter 11 Subchapter of Inner Afi, Caution for Washing. In amputation proximal to the distal intrapharyngeal joint, venerophy is possible and necessary as venous drainage can't be maintained by external bleeding technique alone above this level. One artery one vein repair is enough to keep the finger viable. But the author prefers to repair two arteries and two veins, keeping in the mind that the more the anastomosis the higher the chance of the success. In such cases if thrombosis occurs in one of the vessel, blood flow can still bypass the thrombosed vessel and the possibility of survival of the finger is more. And chances of late atrophy and cold sensitivity are also less. Arterial anastomosis can easily be checked by watching the back flow of the blood from the veins. But vein needs to be checked indirectly by checking the morphology of the vein distal to the anastomosis or by the squeezing test. It is always preferable to perform to veins anastomosis. In a 50 years old female with index finger amputation following avulsion injury. Arterior arfi was performed. Venar afi was performed. Polymer sided structures were repaired first at index finger followed by extensor tenor afi and venar afi, keeping the hand in pronation. Debridement was performed at postorative three weeks. In a 38 years old male with index finger amputation, flexor tendon tenor afi was performed, but an additional wound was created at the finger or pulp for external bleeding therapy to check the circulation and prevent venous congestion. Post operative three days findings. Post operative six months findings. Thank you very much. Hello, I am Hyun Chil Park. Today I will present Finger Replantation Book Chapter 11 Vein Subchapter B Venaravi using additional incisions. Caution for washing. In general, venaravi is performed as the last procedure in cases of finger replantation. Tension might be noticed at the repair site, or there might be gap in the continuity of the veins. In such cases, the author prefers to ligate the veins on the distal amputated stump and without the venous repair, close the surrounding skin. So we closed the wound first. After checking circulation of the hand, we made additional incisions on the wet space where dorsal veins were expected to be present and performed the venous anastomosis using the dorsal metacarpal and digital veins true to surgical site tension, which was producing compression over the anastomosed veins. Full thickness skin graft were applied over the five venous anastomosis sites harvested from the ixolateral forearm. A 33-year-old male with complete amputation of the all four fingers of left hand. Schematic view of the venous system of hand dorsum and full thickness skin grafting. At post-operative day 7, the full thickness skin graft was done on hand dorsum. Three months after replantation, the patient's hand shows complete viability. Thank you very much. Hello, I am Hyun Chil Park. Today, I will present Finger Replantation Book Chapter 12 Subchapter. Attention Free Repair and B Nail Bedge Repair. Caution for washing, skin closure plays a vital role in finger replantation. Tight closure of the skin can worsen the blood flow, especially in cases where blood flow is maintained by one or two vessels. Pressure generated by tight skin suture might affect the anastomosis and circulation could be even completely stopped. The author prefers to make a pulp wound to check bleeding from through wound while skin closure. If bleeding decreases or stops from the fingertip wound during skin closure, stitches should be cut off and repair site needs to be explored. Tension generated by tight skin closure might lead to thrombus formation at the anastomosis site. Skin sutures should be loose enough and tension free. If the skin edges are far apart or the blood vessels are difficult to cover by the 
overlying skin, it is better not to try direct skin suturing, rather to apply full thickness skin graft to cover the wound. The donor site for the skin graft could be the medial side of a per arm, volar side of the elbow, wrist, pomme. Tie overdressing is usually not performed to avoid further pressure at the skin grafted site. In a 43 years old male with small finger amputation, following venar afi primary, skin closure was attempted. Arterior afi was performed. Neuro afi was performed. Venar afi was performed. As skin defect was too large to do direct repair, full thickness skin graft was applied to cover the wound. Post operative 7 days findings. Post operative 5 months findings. X ray findings. Male bed repair is also an important step following the replantation. As male bed is the site of many tiny blood vessels and aesthetically, shape of the nail is very important. Meticulous repair of the nail bed is necessary. The author prefers to do nail bed repair under microscope if required. In a 40 years old female with tip of the thumb amputation, checking nail bed under microscope. Arteriorafy was performed. Neuroafy was performed. Nail bed repair was performed under microscope. Post-operative two months findings. Thank you very much. Hello, I am Hyun Chil Park. Today I will present Finger Replantation Book. Chapter 13. Subchapter. A. Medication. B. Education. C. Position. D. Heat Lamp. E. Bleeding Therapy. Salvage Therapy. F. Dressing. G. Oxygen Therapy. H. Leash. I. Ray Exploration. J. Monitoring. K. Debridement. Caution for Washing. 1. Fluid Therapy. Adequate post-operative fluid therapy is essential following replantation. The author prefers to administer 2000 milliliters day of isotonic fluid for a healthy adult without any medical illness post-operatively. For diabetes mellitus patients, type of fluid should be such that will not influence their blood sugar level. 2. Intravenous heparin. One of the disadvantage of the drug heparin is its short half-life. It have powerful pharmacological effect. So, we have to caution for use. For an average adult without any medical condition, 1000 IU hour is the standard dose and in case of a low body weight patient. In case of a low body weight patient, 500 IU hour or 2000 IU for hour can be administered. The use of heparin often causes elevation of hepatic enzymes and thrombocytopenia. So periodic blood test is necessary. In a 37 years old male, wound swad was taken for the culture at the time of the replantation and antibiotics was started empirically. Clampless technique was performed. Arteriorophy was performed. Postoperative findings. Postoperative two months findings. B. Education. Unlike other surgeries, following replantation it is crucial to frequently monitor the amputated part. The author prefers to counsel the patients regarding the following issues. Avoid smoking, alcohol, caffeine, carbonic acid containing food. Keep her planted finger higher than the heart level and external bleeding therapy. C position. The replanted finger should be kept in the bed higher than the patient's heart level to improve the venous return. The heat lamp. Heat lamp could be used to keep the replanted finger warm. However, as the amputated finger does not have any sensation, care must be taken to prevent the thermal injury. In a 36 years old female with dead loving injury at the level of the palm of the hand. Post-operative findings. Surrounding temperature of the wound was maintained by keeping the hand under the heat lamp. Post-operative two months findings. E. External bleeding therapy or salvaged therapy is an essential part of Replantation, where venar afi is impossible to perform more venar afi. Alone is unlikely to prevent the venous congestion. A wound need to be made on the amputated part. Period of salvage therapy is usually 7 days to 2 weeks. The author stops salvage therapy at around 11 days. When bleeding decreases, care must be taken not to damage the deep micro vessels during the process of deepening of the bleeding wound. A 32 years old male with ring finger tip amputation. Arteriorophy was performed. 
solution made up of heparin and gentamicin in normal saline to be used to soak the gauge for covering the wound. Salvage therapy was performed to improve external bleeding. Schematic view of salvage therapy by thin resection, post-operative two months findings. In a 48 years old male with thumb fingertip amputation. Debridement was performed, arteriography was performed. Post-operative findings. At post-operative one day, external bleeding was noted. On 11th post-operative day, external bleeding therapy was discontinued. Debridement was performed. Post-operative five months findings. In a 51 years old male with ring fingertip amputation. Debridement was performed due to foreign body. Arteriography was performed. Post-operative findings. At post-operative one day, external bleeding was noted. On 11th post-operative day, external bleeding therapy was discontinued. Post-operative two months findings. F dressing. First dressing is usually changed after one week to minimize the possibility of any damage to the anastomosed blood vessels. Sometimes, dressing could be changed early. It is better to change the dressing early if external bleeding therapy is performed. If the gus is adhered to the wound by blood clot, clot needs to be removed by dissolving it with normal saline. Dressing should be loose enough and should not impart any pressure over the replanted finger. A 31 years old male with small finger amputation following crush injury. Arterior artery was performed. Post-operative findings. At post-operative three days, external bleeding was noted. Dressing was changed early and while dressing change, clot was removed with warm saline irrigation. On 11th post-operative days, external bleeding therapy was discontinued. Post-operative two months findings. G oxygen therapy. Korean insurance system allows hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Treatment for the following. H. Leash. In some cases of post-replantation venous congestion, leech is applied to maintain the blood flow. Leech usually carries bacteria, Aromonas hydrophila, which prevents the sicked blood to be spoiled. Leech can suck blood from the normal bleeding tissue. Be careful. In a 40 years old male with index fingertip amputation, Checking artery of the stump side. Checking artery of the proximal side. Post-operative findings. Leech was applied to prevent the venous congestion. After applying the leech, active external bleeding and swollen leech was noted on fingertip. Aromonos hydrophila was detected from the wound culture on day 10 post-operatively. Post-operative 4 months findings. If the circulation worsens, ray exploration is indicated and should be done within 4-6 hours. Re-exploration will not be going to help much after one week of operation. J monitoring. The method of monitoring of the amputated part following replantation is as follows. Checking the color is the most important monitoring method of it. In a 37 years old male with small fingertip amputation. Checking artery. Nail edge repair was performed under microscope. Clampless technique was performed. Arterior artery was performed. Post-operative findings. Author also judged the survival of the replanted part by using transillumination technique by the penlight. After salvage therapy, active external bleeding was noted on fingertip. Post-operative two months findings. K debridement. The author prefers to wait for three weeks, even if it is considered necessary to go for the early wound debridement. In a 60 years old male with amputation of the long and ring fingers, Post-operative findings. Necrosis was observed but as the fingertip circulation was maintained, debridement was delayed for three weeks. Post-operative two months findings. Thank you very much. Hello, I am Hyun Chil Park. Today I will present Finger Replantation Book Chapter 14 Special Situation. Subchapter. A elderly patient. B. Pediatric patient. See multiple digit amputation. Caution for watching, a elderly patient. Recently, the number of the elderly patients with finger amputation is increasing substantially. As many of the elderly patients might have cardiorespiratory problem, complete cardiorespiratory checkup is essential. Before replantation, follow up chest x ray examination is required. A 90 year old man with long fingertip amputation. 
checking artery of distal side. Clampless technique was performed. Arteriography was performed. Postoperative findings, external bleeding was noted. Postoperative 7 days findings, circulation was relatively weak. Partial necrosis of the fingertip was noticed but treatment was continued only with regular dressing without any additional surgery. B. Pediatric patient. Explanation about the chances of the physial injury and its long-term outcome need to be discussed properly before replantation. Good rapport with the parents is very important in cases of pediatric patients, a 3-year-old boy with ring fingertip amputation with facial injury. Checking artery of the distal side. Checking artery of the proximal side. Arteriography was performed. Postoperative findings. Postoperative 1 day findings. Postoperative 10 days findings. Postoperative 1 month findings. Replantation was successful. Postoperative 2, 6 months findings. Postoperative 3 years finding. Postoperative 3 years findings. There was problem with fingers normal growth. See multiple digit amputation. Multiple digit amputation requires longer time to complete the replantation. Sequences and procedure of the replantation, surgeon's fatigue can affect the result of surgery. It is also necessary to check the physiological condition and fitness of the patient before surgery and to plan accordingly. Age 62 year old female with long, ring and small finger amputation. Schematic view of amputated fingers. Postoperative findings, postoperative 3 days findings, postoperative 2 months findings. Thank you very much. Hello, I am Hyun Chil Park. Today I will present Finger Replantation Book Chapter 15 Follow Up Subchapter A Nerve Recovery, B Range of Motion, C Bone Union, D Atrophy, E Cold Intolerance, F Scar. Reversal of skin sensation takes time as nerves regenerate at the rate of 1 mm day. Patients should be counseled for the prevention of bunra and frostbite. During follow-up. In the winter, it is necessary to wear gloves to prevent frostbite. In a 42 years old male, replantation was done in long fingertip amputation. Postoperative findings. Postoperative 4 months findings. At follow-up after 4 months. Two-point discrimination was 8 mm. X-ray findings, recovery of the range of motion of the finger joints might also take longer. Time. Regular physical therapy is necessary especially in cases of amputation. Proximal to the level of the distal intrapharyngeal joint, duration of physical therapy might vary according to the degree of injury, age of the patient, presence or absence of underlying disease, etc. In a 55 years old male, postoperative findings, recovery of full range of motion of finger joints were observed after for months of surgery as there was no joint damage. In 56 years old male, postoperative findings, postoperative 3 months findings, though there was no damage to the joints, range of motion of the joints were not satisfactory even after 3 months of physical therapy. As in case of the amputation vascular supply is completely disrupted, bone union is likely to be delayed compared to the simple fracture union. Periodic review by the radiological examination is necessary and removal of K wire should be done after the complete union of the bone is achieved. In 21 years old male, postoperative 3 months findings, bone graft was performed, postoperative 5 months findings. Because of the non-union of the bone, at three months of replantation bone grafting was performed, following finger replantation often patients complain of fingertip atrophy. It might be due to the weak arterial pressure. That's why the author prefers to carry out anastomosis of two arteries wherever possible. In a 22 years old male with index finger amputation, postoperative findings, debridement was performed, replantation was successful. But patient complained of fingertip atrophy. Many patients complain of cold intolerance or discomfort at the surgical site. Following replantation, it might last for about one to two years post replantation in certain instances. Counseling, use of gloves are necessary, especially in the winter and cold season. In 30 years old male, checking artery, 
arteriography was performed, post-operative findings, proper counseling and use of the winter clothes such as gloves, was advised. In some cases of replantation, hypotrophic scar develops at the site of the wound which creates worry and discomfort. Cosmetically, it is also not acceptable. In 30 years old male, checking artery in second finger, checking artery in first finger, post-operative findings, debridement was performed, following replantation, hypotrophic scar was developed, as patient was uncomfortable with it, scar was excised surgically, thank you very much.